Hi, I'm Sam Benyakov. This presentation is entitled Analog Riddle, Find the Mistakes in a Current Transformer Project. The other day I came across a description of a project in which uh, there is a circuit for measuring AC current by a transformer and associated circuitry. The link to the post is here and I'm going to print it also on the uh, page of this YouTube video. So here is the first page of the uh, description, Current Transformer, How to Project, was published on January 20th, just recently. And um, I'm going now to show it in a, within a Word document because uh, I've put in some markers and it'd be easier for me to do that. So let's move to the uh, Word. So here is it within the uh, Word document, Current Transformer, How to Project. And um, this project has to do with uh, measuring current via a current transformer. The current transformer being used is the Thalema AC1010, which I'm going to talk about. And uh, this is used as a current transformer. It has a thousand to one uh, turns ratio, or I should say one to a thousand turns ratio, and uh, loaded by 100 ohms. So it is shown here. This is the basic configuration. This is the AC current to be measured. This is the output, thousand to one, and there is a 100 ohms here. So one amp uh, divided by a thousand, it'll be one milliamp, and then times 100, so it'll be 0.1 volt per 1 amp. So this is an AC transformer. This is an AC transformer for 50, 60 hertz. That's a low frequency transformer. Now the transformer itself, here it is. This is the transformer and uh, it's a 50, 60 hertz transformer. And uh, so let's have a look at some of the uh, plots here of this transformer, which also are uh, to my mind, uh, a little bit uh, questionable. But let's see, we have here the input current in amps and output voltage as a function of the load resistor, okay? 50 ohm will give you this, 100 ohm will give you this, and then it gets corrupted. Okay, so why is this, by the way? This is actually the first question of the riddle. Why? is the output a function of the load resistor. I'm talking about this load resistor. And uh, why is it sort of come, coming to saturation? Secondly, there is another plot here, which is also kind of with some questions to it. It shows here secondary RMS exciting current in milliamp. This is actually the induced current in the secondary and then the secondary voltage resulting from the excite this well the induced voltage and it shows here sort of a curve like this and then it sort of saturates goes up well the question is again uh why is this and uh, so this is another question of the riddle. And, uh, and the third one is, what is really missing here from all this story? I mean, there's one particular parameter that is missing here that can uh, tell you what is this uh, transformer all about and what are these uh, characteristics that will help you to use it properly. Okay, so let's go back now to the description of the project. So here we have the transformer. It is just the output of a uh, function generator. Okay, so let's just uh, move ahead. And I come to this point, which is the first uh, point that I've marked here. And it says the following. A rough estimation of current could be determined by reading just the peak voltage, but to get an accurate vo current measurement, you will need to take many measurements to determine the total area under the curve that is the current draw. Okay, 
I have mentioned that the intention here is to feed the output of this uh, circuit to a, a microcontroller with an A to D so as to sample it. Okay, so this is why it's saying uh, you have to read it many times. So, the quest first question is, what's wrong with this statement? Number one. So let's move ahead and we see here a case in which uh, there is a DC bias added. So if you feed it to a microcontroller, you can use a unipolar input that is from zero to a positive voltage. Otherwise, if you just look at the output of the transformer, of course, it's plus minus and there's a difficulty in um, sampling it with an A to D or regular A to D. So this is one suggestion and this is, shows how the, the offset works, which is fine. And then it shows the actually current of the mains, that is when there is a load connected to the power line measuring the current of it. This is the current. It's not clear how this thing measure, was measured, but this is representing the current of the line when loaded by a resistive load. And it says that note how the waveform is not as perfect as the function generator real world loads are almost never going to be perfect sine waves okay so the second question is what's wrong with this statement it is wrong it's incorrect let's move on and we come up to the rectifier itself so here it is here we have the rectifier it's a full wave rectifier the purpose of which is to enable the A to D to sample positive voltages. So here we have the transformer loaded by 100 ohms. Then it goes into a, a halfway rectifier here with 10 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm. And then it goes into a second uh, rectifier which includes 5 and 10 kilo ohms and then we have the output section which is uh, a low pass filter uh, 1.8 kilo ohm and 0.1 microfarad okay so the third question is what are the sore points of this circuit this is really not a very good circuit that, uh, there are many things that could cause errors and it can definitely be improved by a different construction or different topology. So this is the third question. And then I come to the fourth question. Despite how amazing accurate operational amplifier tuning turning these days, having both amps in same package greatly increases the likelihood of the same gain being applied by both amplifier, which is important. In my final design, I'll also be using 0.1% resistor for the same reason. Something, something is wrong in this statement, something is incorrect. So that's the fourth point. F fifth point. Finally, I have a simple 60 hertz RC filter as the output of the operational amplifier to remove any AC noise that might have been picked up. This filter is of high enough cutoff frequency that it does not affect the 50 hertz signal. Well, what is wrong with this statement? Something is incorrect here too. Now the filter that he is referring to is this filter here. We see the 1.8 and 0.1. I guess it is a if you look at the RC uh, product here, it's uh, sort of uh, 16, uh, 600 hertz. So there is something wrong in this statement too. So let's move farther and I come here to the actual output that was recorded by oscilloscope. 
This is the input. This is from a function generator. It's not clear how it was fed, but let's leave, leave it alone. And uh, this circle is something that I have added. So I have added it. And I'm pointing here to the fact that you see here distortion. Okay. Well, there's no mentioning in, in the uh, description here of this distortion. And my question is, why is this distortion? Why isn't it a nice half wave sinusoidal waveform? Why is it distorted here? That's very important because this corrupts the signal. So that's the sixth point. Seventh point. It says that the negative wave is a little lower in voltage than the positive one. That's because the resistor I'm using are not particularly well matched. Well, uh, what he's referring to is the fact that you see there is a peak here, and this peak is lower, and it is attributed to the uh, fact that the resistors used, that is, this uh, resistors in the providing the gain are not that accurate. Well, it says here 0.1, but he was saying that he tested it with resistor of unknown accuracy, so it's probably due to the resistors. And uh, so there is an error here causing this thing here, and I think it's wrong, especially if we consider the next point. And the next point says, as we test this with the heating element, so this is a heating element already, uh, that you pass a current uh, through it from the mains, from the power line. And uh, here is the current itself, that's the rectified value. And it says that uh, as we test this with the heating element as a load, the error is not as noticeable. Well, just as before, blue is the waveform coming out of the current transformer and yellow is the output of the position. So, it says here that, well, if you measure it uh, from the, uh, uh, the actual current of a line, then the error of the supposedly uh, inaccurate resistors which cause this are not causing any problem anymore. Well, I think it's incorrect. So let's move further, and then we see testing of the unit. Okay, so it is a sort of a heating pad, and then point nine, I use the four wire resistance measurement to measure the heating element. After letting my multimeter average the reading for a while, it settled at 50.260 ohm. So he first measured the resistance of the heating element. Okay? Something wrong with this. Big mistake. And then it comes to the point 10 in that with a line of 239 volt as measured by him, with the measured 50 ohm, the element was measured to be 50 ohm, then in operation, it was supposed to be 4.7 amp, while the rectifier showed only 4.4 RMS. And you can see it here. Let's go back. Here it is, here. The RMS is 442, which, which translates to a 4.4 amp. Okay, so the statement here is that it was supposed to be 4.76 based on the line of 239 and 50 ohm measured, while the rectifier shows only 4.4. So the conclusion is that the rectifier is incorrect by 7%. I'm afraid that this statement is incorrect. Okay, so what is wrong with this statement? And then 11, 
Uh, it says you can buy more precise current transformer. However, these are cheap and 10% tolerance is sufficient for my application. Well, again, in general, this is correct, but not relevant to the particular analysis of the measurements here. These are the points that I wanted to bring up. And, um, and finally, part of the riddle is what would be a better rectifier circuit? As I've said, this circuit has many, many uh, shortcomings. And uh, the question is, how can you improve it? with the same two amplifier and not to add too many elements to it. So this brings me to the end of this presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. I hope you'll try answer the riddle and I'm going to of course uh, post a video uh, with a detailed answer to all the questions and uh, I hope it will be also of interest to you. Thank you very much.